This video just released today. It is from the day the man was killed near the Indian Creek Trail back in May. It was the latest in a string of murders in that same area. In this developing story here at 641 Action News reporter Sarah Plake is live with reaction from the murder victims' families. Sarah? Yep, you'll have to pay close attention to this video. Police say that that person could have some vital information about a murder right here on this trail. And for the families of other victims who've been murdered around this trail, they hope it can mean justice for them too. While police haven't released many leads in Mike Darby's murder on the Indian Creek Trail, this video might be the closest thing to a clue. Details are hard to see, but this person was walking along the trail May 18th at 5.47 a.m., around the same time Darby's body was found. We just need to talk to this person and identify who it is. Definitely not a suspect or anything like that. It's just one more to-do list that we have to get done, one more thing we need to check off. It's just a piece of hope the restaurant owner's family is clinging to. We haven't forgotten you. Uh, we love you more than we ever said. And the whole city is thinking about you, and we won't let this go, Paul. Yeah, no, it's yeah. been tough. I mean, Mike Lennox bad. knows the feeling. His dad, David Lennox, was shot to death in February outside his home at the Willow Creek apartment complex nearby, part of a string of four unsolved murders on or near the trail. Police said the murders are not related, but have similarities. Uh, we know what the Darby family is going through, and they know what we're going through. And, and you know, fortunately, there's not a lot of people that know what it's like to have their uh, have their father murdered. But could this person have any information? Police need to find this person first. And hopefully, this this footage will will break something open for for the Darby family. Hopefully, it'll break something open for our family as well. And both the Darby and Lennox families have upped their reward for any information, any information leading to an arrest. In Kansas City, Missouri, I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News. Sarah, thanks. So police really want this video to reach as many people as possible. If you would like to share, we put it on our 41 Action News Facebook page. It's available right now. We will, of course, stay in touch with police as well to let you know if they identify the man seen in this video.